Hi, I'm Jessica Fensel. This is a quick um, demonstration on some tools that you can use to collect data. Our students go to Google probably 90% of the time and go to the first page on Google, which is fine, but we need to expand their horizons and have them become better searchers and collect data in different ways. So I'm going to show you an example of some searches and some tips and tricks within Google and some other search engines you can use. For example, I did a search on English Bulldogs, and you'll notice when that comes up, I have a knowledge graph over, a knowledge map, excuse me, over here. And when you can notice, it gives you kind of just a quick synopsis of an English Bulldog, what type of breed it is. It also gives you some ideas over here of different animals that you might be researching. Now, let's say, for example, if I was looking for a site that had an educational site regarding English Bulldogs. Well, I could s scroll down and look, but you know there's no educational sites that are coming up. They're mostly .coms. Well, let's say, for example, I want to go to a site .edu space English Bulldogs. Now, do you notice? Now, these are all um, colleges or educational institutions that have information about English Bulldogs. That, you probably would have had to go to page 10 to even get to that first one. So you can use site edu colon, you could do site or org, you can change it to whatever particular um, ending extension you want to use on the website. Let's say I'm a math teacher and I want to calculate something. Well, I'm not going to do anything fancy, but I'll tell you that. I'm going to go 1 times 10 and enter. Wow, did you know Google has its own calculator? Feel free to look at that and you have your own um, Google search is a calculator as well. Did you know you can actually search by voice? I'm sure this is in Chrome. You can click on this particular microphone and click on it and I'm gonna say English it didn't let me finish but I'll do it again. English Bulldog. There we go. Voila. And so it's reading back to me as well. Um, that is a great tip. The other thing is you have is a file type. I like file type. Let's say you want to find a file type and it's a PowerPoint and you want it to be an English Bulldog PowerPoint. Maybe you want to use it for class. And there you go. You can see there's some PowerPoints already with some English Bulldog. It's not a huge one there, but maybe we look for a PDF. That would probably be a better option. There you go, you got some resources there that are English Bulldog um, PDFs. So you can kind of see there's some really cool things with that. Um, you can also search by image. Do you know when you search by image, you just click on images? And I have an image on my desktop, I'm going to drag over and I'm going to drop it. Voila, that is the picture I had on the desktop. And if you scroll down, it shows me similar websites or um, pictures of the Bulldog. And right down here is the picture I was looking. It's a great way to find out where your sources are as well. I love Google. There's no doubt about it. There's, it's a great tool. Don't forget about other search tools as well. I use this a lot, um, especially the time. Especially when I'm regarding tech information. I want the most recent information. I don't want something from back in 2010 probably more likely outdated. So keep in mind um, of some of the tips and tricks within Google. The other thing I want to point out is Sweet Search. This is another tool that you can use. I'm going to just search English Bulldog. And this one, what I really like about this one, and I'm not going to spend much time on it, but it is um, has been verified by other great researchers or um, it's a great um, search engine for students but you can share it social network but what I really like it is you can actually click and share it to your Google Docs and that's a great way for your um, students to collect data and kinda get their life organized the other one I want to mention is Instagram. Uh, I do want you to have an account with that one it kinda keeps track of your history but I'm gonna go to English Bulldog and what I like about this it will kind of I would call it the spider web effect, but there's other ways. But I have done this, and it just kind of lets you go to different options and stuff and other tools that go with that topic. It's very interesting what it comes up with. You can actually change the 
to the easier to really difficult if you want but it's really a great way also you can journal with this so you can um, do a lot of different ways to start researching and if it's a topic they're not familiar with this is a great way to get them started so again um, log into that account and I'll have you some information the last one I want to talk about is um, Wolf and Alpha uh, this is for more math and science but I'm gonna go to this one and I'm just gonna type in English Bulldog we're gonna learn a lot about English Bulldogs today and that might help to spell it correctly too but what this does it brings all the information from recommended websites and brings all that data and into one-stop shop so again some great tools I'm not going to go into detail with this because if you go to my website today and my presentation I have added YouTube videos and detailed information on these websites so if you want to learn more about switch search there's a video there uh, Instagram there's information on that as well so there's videos on how to learn these tools on your own again searching is a huge tool I think our students need to be better searchers um, it amazes me in the classroom so hopefully these tools will benefit you as well thank you